Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for today's video. It is going to be my September update for my Rolling Project 10 pan. I am not sure how I feel about the eye look today. I am trying to create a look out of, or I'm trying to use every single shade in my Flower Punk palette. So I was on to the mint shades today and we did a mint look and I, I don't know how I feel. But today I'm gonna be updating you on my Rolling Project 10 pan. I do have one product that I've hit pan on one product that's pretty much an empty and some really good weight movement on the rest of my products so if you're interested in my progress stay tuned first if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content or just chit chatting about makeup i would love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on and other than that let's jump into the video i am currently participating in quite a few other project pans so if you're interested in catching any other project pan content from me all of my uh project playlists will be linked down below um i like to go in order that i rolled these products in because then i can like flow down my list with all my weights so let's start with my hourglass concealer this is the product that's pretty much all but empty i have tried multiple days to get the stopper out like i like try to get the stopper out of this and then i can't get it out and then i like take a break for a few days and then i try again the stopper is not coming out of this like i have tried so hard i definitely have a few more uses left like when i dip in i get like enough to do like a dot in my eye and then i have to like dip in again and then i like it usually takes me about four times dipping into this to actually get the amount of concealer that i want um there's tons of like demarcation on the sides i don't know how well you'll be able to see and then i don't know if you'll be able to see like down in here but there is like barely no product left when i rolled this in this weighed 32 grams this weighed 29 grams last update it weighs 28 grams today so we have seen six grams worth of product usage i'm not exactly sure so there's six mils in here i don't know what that equates to in terms of grams i'm sorry i'm not like a whiz like that but um this took me so long to complete this is pretty much the only concealer that i've used all year obviously i've like rotated in some here and there or i'll mix this concealer with another but and granted i haven't been wearing makeup as much this year as i have in years past but this took me so long <laughs> i'm very excited i am going to count this as an empty i'll put it back in my bathroom and use it a few more times until it is truly an empty but i'm going to roll in a different concealer to replace this just because i have a feeling that this is going to be like empty empty in the next few days and i don't want to wait until next update to roll in a new concealer i don't think i'll finish the concealer i'm rolling in by the end of the year but i at least want to roll one in by the way i feel like my skin is super splotchy i need to self tan again but my daughter and i are going to the pool today so i want to get like a real possible like real tan see where we're at and then possibly self tan again anyway um next up i have my kosas cloud set powder i have mine in the shade of feathery and i have been making great progress on this all year i'll be really excited to see where we're at in terms of the progress photos for this when i rolled this in this weighed 75 grams it weighed 70 grams last update and it weighs 69 grams today i do still feel like this will take me a couple more months like i feel like this will take me right up until the finale before i actually finish this product off just because although it's not very domed up at the top there is still a little bit of dome up here and i just feel like like i'll be curious to see what the progress photos look like last month compared to this month because i feel like i use this product a lot but in my head i'm like have i even uncovered another ring i'm honestly not sure this is a product that as i have used this so consistently this year i really have come to like this product and that's why i put this product in this project at the beginning of the year i wasn't sure my true feelings on this powder and i wanted to use it very consistently to kind of decide now i do have other powders in my collection that i need to get through before i were to go repurchasing this powder but if i do make it make my way through some other powders in my collection this is when i could see myself repurchasing i feel like it does a really nice job of blurring the skin but it's a really lightweight powder as well so i really enjoy this one from kosas next up this vive lip liner in the shade velvet sands i gave myself a goal of finishing this off this year this weighed four grams when we rolled this in it still weighs four grams today maybe i weighed it without the cap at the beginning of the year and i weighed it with the cap now i'm honestly like not sure i should know this is what it looks like it's a really beautiful nude lip liner i don't think i reached for this at all since the last update this is something i definitely forgot about there is still like quite a bit of this left now granted i have used quite a bit of this product as well but i don't think i will finish this by the end of the year still gonna be the goal but i don't think it's gonna happen the foundation that's the bane of my existence my pat mcgrath 
skin fetish sublime perfection foundation now when i rolled this in i had about half of this left this was not a favorite foundation of mine i just wanted to finish this up get it out of my collection get my money's worth because this was a very expensive foundation we are right about here by my best estimate getting closer and closer to the finish but i still feel like I maybe reached this two or three times last month honestly i can't remember so this weighed 148 grams when we rolled it in it weighed 138 grams last update and does weigh 137 grams today so there was weight train weight change from last update to this update but i feel like i only reached for it a few times this is something i must finish by the finale or i will literally be so disappointed in myself like i literally must finish this but i could see this taking me until the finale to finish just because i just do not enjoy this foundation i like to mix it with other foundations to make myself like it a little bit more but for me this was just not not a foundation love in my opinion next up i have some exciting progress on my patrick ta lip gloss this is in the shade is she younger than me now this lip gloss has missed a few updates so when i rolled this in i rolled this in in may it weighed 31 grams I did not I had lost this for my July update but found it so last update it weighed 30 grams and it weighs 29 grams today and this is when I believe this is when I rolled it in approximately and this is where we're at now I wear this so much this is like feels like the literal never-ending lip gloss like I have worn this so frequently this is something that was like in my work little like pencil pouch that i was constantly reapplying this this is something that was sitting in my car for a while so it was like the lip gloss that i would put on when i was driving i just recently brought this with along for my grandpa's funeral and like it was like a two and a half hour car ride and i was applying it in the car i was applying it at the funeral i was applying it at the dinner or like luncheon after and then i like literally was applying it on the way home as well <laughs> And like i feel like i should have more progress i have about half of this left i feel like this is going to take me all year to finish and honestly this is like more of a summer shade for me so we'll see how much i reach for this this next update and if i feel like i can make this work for me for the fall or maybe i'll have to roll this out and roll something else in next update but a gram worth of use so excited to see some weight movement but this truly feels like the literal never-ending lip gloss some very exciting progress on this next product this is the lys secure skin gripping primer so this primer is a primer that i did not think i liked at all but this is one of those products that as i started using it more consistently i really have come to enjoy this product i think it does such a great job of gripping the skin and while i do have quite a few other gripping primers in my collection that i don't need to immediately go out and repurchase this I would recommend this product if you're looking for a good gripping primer this is a really really good one it truly feels sticky and almost like glue to your skin not in like a terrible way but like my makeup is gripped when using this so when i roll this in i had a little over half of the product left and i made pretty consistent progress throughout this is where we are at now i'm pretty confident i will have this finished by the next update it'll be really close but i think i can power through and finish this up which will be really exciting to have another primer empty for the end of the year so when i rolled this in this weighed 36 grams i did weigh, roll this in during the june update it weighed 23 grams last update and it now weighs 16 grams so seven grams worth of usage which i'm very very excited about i don't know if there's like an air bubble seven grams feels like a lot but that's where we're at this should be an empty by the next update another very very exciting update and i hope you guys will be able to see the pan in this but i did hit pan on my pixie highlighter i have mostly been focused on this shade right here which is the shade that i have indeed hit pan on and you can barely see it but i can see it and i hope you guys will be able to see it too i am going to leave this out for a couple more days and just like a couple more uses just to expand that pan just a little bit so for my end of year all the pans in my collection the pan is a little bit more obvious i do see the pan you guys and i'm certain it's the pan though um i rolled this in during the june update as well this weighed 48 grams when i rolled it in and it still weighs 48 grams but i have used this so so much i have this on today i really enjoy this it's a really really smooth formula it is more intense um but i also like to use it on my shoulders i have it on my shoulders today as well and i'm really glad that i rolled this in and got some use out of this and was able to hit pan on another product in my collection so i will be rolling in another highlight to replace that at the end of the video 
Next up I have this liquid blush from Daniel Sandler. It's his watercolor gel cheek color in the shade Nectar. I believe this, been, this has been in other projects. So some of the line markings are from previous projects, but we are about here now. So about halfway through the product. My packaging is, I don't know if it's defective or I did something, but my product is no longer coming out of the tip. It's coming out the side when I squeeze it. So it's a little bit messy and like a little bit wasteful if I'm not careful, but I truly love Love this liquid blush it's one of my favorite colors it's one of my favorite formulas in my entire collection I like this on its own I like to mix this with other creamer liquid blushes that maybe are a little bit more intense than I like and this tones it down I rolled this one in in June as well it weighed 12 grams when I rolled it in it weighed 12 grams last update it weighs 11 grams today so I'm super excited about that this is something that really I can wear all year round because it is such a like neutral universally flattering sort of blush shade and I will continue to use this hopefully I can empty this out by the end of the year because I feel like this will be my only blush finish for 2022 like this is my only chance and I'm still a little bit worried about it but that's still gonna be the goal here Next up, I have this Urban Decay Eyeliner in the shade Tiger's Eye. I rolled this in in July. It weighed six grams when I rolled it in. This is what it looks like. It's like a deep brown, like a deep metallic brown. A very easy, everyday, wearable shade. I really, oops. I really enjoy the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencils. They're super buttery, really easy to work with. Um, they go on my waterline very easily. They're easy to use on the upper lash line as well. Really not more that you could ask for. Like I said, this weighed six grams when I rolled it in. It weighed five grams last update, and it weighs four grams today. I'm very excited about the progress on this. I don't know if I'll be able to finish this by the end of the year. Probably not, just seeing as we only have four months left. But I think I can get pretty darn close, and I will be excited. Um, um, to just work out another brown eyeliner in my collection. My eyeliner collection is one of those areas in my like makeup category or makeup collection. It's one of the categories within my makeup collection that has a high inventory number. It's gotta be like in the 40s, but because they're all little eyeliners and they fit in my little mug, it doesn't feel like that. But then I like think about how many eyeliners I truly have and I get a little bit stressed out. So. Maybe it'll be an empty by the end of the year. That would be super exciting. I'm honestly not sure, but this is really easy for me to use. It's like my go-to every day. I wear a brown eyeliner in my waterline almost every day, and this is what I'm reaching for. So we'll see where we're at come the end of the year. This next product I have not made great progress on because I've been focused on other bronzers that I'm trying to hit pan on, but I did roll my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer in in July. I rolled this in just because I wanted to get use on a bronzer that I really enjoy in my collection and kind of give me an excuse to reach for this. This weighed 132 grams when I rolled it in. It still weighs 132 grams. I think I reached for this maybe two times. I was really focused on my Ilia bronzer for my graveyard project pan and just kind of neglected this, but I'm going to keep this in, keep working on it. I don't even think I'll be able to hit pan on this by the end of the year. I'm I'm not sure how shallow the pan is, but I would just be happy to even see like a good dip in the center. This is one of my favorite bronzers in my collection, so I just want it to look as loved as it actually is. So that's where we're at with that. So those are all the current products that I'm working on in my Rolling Project 10 pan. I do have to replace that concealer and highlight. So the concealer I selected to replace my Hourglass highlight is this one from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. It's one of the older concealers in my collection. I feel like I have a good dent in this one so while I don't think I'll be able to finish this by the end of the year I feel like I can make really good progress and hopefully this could be an empty like early months of 2023 so by my best estimate I'm about a third of the way through this project there's definitely some demarcation up at the top here and then it looks like the product has settled right about here. I could be wrong. I have mine in the shade Fair Beige, which is a pretty good match for me. And while I hated the original e.l.f. camo concealer, I actually really enjoy this one. I think it's really nice. A little bit of this goes a very long way though. So that's why I'm like a little nervous to work on panning this. But, but I was farther through this product than I actually thought that I was. So I'm just interested to see how quickly or not quickly, I can finish this up. And then the highlighter that I have selected to replace, the Pixie Highlight is another pink highlighter. Pink highlighters are my absolute favorite. This is one of my like OG favorites in my collection. And one that I feel like because it was so expensive, sometimes I neglect. I love this for the winter time. So I thought this would be the perfect time to pull this in and actually try and hit pan on one of my old favorite products. It is the Dior air the dior nude air luminizer in the shade two i have the old packaging it's like super thick that's how old this is this is what this looks like it's a really really beautiful 
pink shade and I am gonna give myself a goal to hit pan on this oh my goodness that is literally so pretty I love pink highlights so so much um, and I've already hit pan on quite a few other pink highlighters in my collection so I figured it, it would be time to hit pan on something that used to be a favorite in my collection and still is like a favorite um, especially seasonally I do really enjoy this one for the winter time so I'll be rolling this in to replace that pixie highlight and after that that is going to wrap up this rolling project 10 pan update I would love to know in the comments below have you recently finished off any project products let a girl know in the comments below let me know if you have any other products you'd be interested in seeing me pan in the future and other than that thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting my channel as you guys always do I love you guys so much and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!